Hello everyone and welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I'm so happy to have you all here today. We've got some great topics happening and it's going to be a great show. Please say hello, especially if you're here for the first time. Please put a one in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Hello, hello. I know there's already a lot of bunch of people here in the house. Hello, great to see you. Okay, so why is it so important? to start your day with a big glass of water. We're gonna be talking about that. We're coming back to leptin resistance and weight loss. And I've got some great hacks for you for the nighttime. So something that we haven't talked about before. Does everybody know what this is? Okay, it's not quiz time yet. Remember, we do have quiz questions coming up, but this is lion's mane. So I'm gonna talk about all the fabulous benefits of lion's mane, a very, very important mushroom. And we're gonna be talking about that. All right. We're also talking about, of course, what else? What do we always talk about? If you've seen the show before, you know that, yeah, we gotta come back to healthy digestion, talking about poops. Yes, we will be talking about that as well. And this, of course, has a lot to do with the weight loss and making sure that we've got that healthy digestion. Okay, so please say hello. It's great to see you here. Hello, Outside Beauty, Inside Health. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to have you here today. And hello, hola, Orlando in Orlando in Tampa, Florida. Nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I know there's a bunch of new people here. Somebody from India, hello, nice to see you. Jack Angel, 18, good morning, good morning. It's so great to have you all here. Okay, this is a very interactive show. So if you are here for the first time, we do have quiz questions coming up and it is very interactive. You have the ability to win a prize. We'll also mention last week's winner, which is always so exciting. And we have so much fun here and there's a lot of health information all about what you can do naturally for your health. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what's been in the news. Yes, yours truly. Let's take a look at this in case you missed it. So a lot of exciting stuff happening. I'm a pooping expert, apparently, according to the New York Post. So I don't know if you've seen this yet, but the New York Post now has posted me a couple of times. And yeah, that's me talking about poop. Yeah, talking about poop. So I am the pooping expert, according to the New York Post. Isn't that fantastic? Which is amazing. Let's talk about doing that seasonal full body detox as well. And why is it so important to detoxify our bodies? Doing that full body detox is something that I do recommend that we all do seasonally. And let's talk about some of those symptoms that your body could be telling you that you've got that internal toxicity that's built up in your organs. I am gonna be calling for that poop platter in just a second as well. So yeah, so we're gonna talk about all the symptoms of toxicity. I'm also gonna be sharing to you today some tips for healthier cell phone use. Now, is it ever really healthy to use a cell phone? Probably not, but some healthier tips that you will really help you to cut down your EMF exposure, which is so important as part of detoxing and that full body detox as well. Okay, I know a lot of people that probably need to get off their cell phone completely, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna share some really practical tips that's really gonna help you for your cell phone use to make it healthier. Okay, let's talk about that full body detox and why it's so important because quite likely your body is giving you signs and symptoms of that toxicity that has built up over time and we're going to go to a chart i want to share with you lucy say how's lucy doing this morning have you done your detox recently lucy i don't know if she has do you think she has I don't know, in these studios she probably has because we always talk about that full body detox, which is so important. But if Lucy hadn't done her detox, she could have and display a number of symptoms like headaches is a big one. When we talk about skin issues and rashes, when we talk about lung toxicity, having a chronic cough or that dry cough that lingers that you just can't get rid of. Maybe it's fatty liver, maybe it's digestive health, gas and bloating, all common signs and symptoms of that toxicity that's built up. Let's go over to my chart over here. And this is something that you can screenshot if you have the ability to screenshot, just FYI, because if you've got some of these symptoms, maybe they're not, you know, migraines, maybe it's internal toxicity. So I just want to plant that seed because I know a lot of people suffer with chronic headaches and that is actually a symptom of toxicity that's built up. You, nobody should ever have a headache. It's something that we've talked about in other episodes of the Dr. Janine Show. And welcome in. Hello. I know. Thank you for the follows. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know there's a lot, bunch of new people here today. So thank you for following. And please follow. Make sure that you follow and share this video as well because I want you to share with your friends so they get in on this great health information. Okay, so let's go through the list. Headaches, it could be the migraines, fatigue, so you just don't have that vital energy, Ir 
irritability. These are all symptoms of toxicity. It's time to do that full body detox, as well as irritability, the memory loss. Now the GI symptoms, you've got the bloating, the stomach pain, diarrhea, constipation, flatulence, fatty stools, weight gain. Yes, that weight gain can be related to that internal toxicity, and that's why I love talking about full body detox to get those toxins out. Now, you also see on uh, sore joints, it could be that as well, your muscles, you're very achy, especially as the seasons change now. In certain areas, we wanna make sure that we are managing that toxicity. Blocked arteries, so things you can't see internally. Fatty liver, skin changes, which yes, you know, if you've got that irritated skin and you've got the rashes, the eczema, the psoriasis, this is an indication, of course, of that internal toxicity. So it's really important to do that full body detox and doing it in gentle and healthy ways is something that I share in my episodes. Okay, we're going over here. I'm gonna share, how do we do that full body detox? I've got some tips coming up for you now. And we're also gonna be talking about why you should drink a big glass of water first thing in the morning. I'm gonna share with you why. Why is that so important, okay? So let's go over here. Let's talk about some full body detox tips. Okay, number one, you definitely want to clean up your diet. So the simplest thing, if you don't know where to start, hey, a lot of people love junk food, okay? And processed food and man-made food. You don't have to do these you know, crazy diets. If you just want to detox and get that detox going, you want to clean up the diet, just try to avoid man-made foods. So great example, you go into the grocery store, even the health food store, if it's been like packaged and put together and there's a bunch of ingredients that have been man-made to actually make that food, maybe not. Maybe go for something that came right out of the earth that was had not a lot of intervention from man or woman um, that you definitely will find that that's a healthier food okay so that is tip number one simple way to start detoxing and doing that full body detox okay let's go to tip number two you want to lower your emf exposure does everybody know what emf exposure is this is so important emfs are electromagnetic fields and radiation they usually come from our cell phones from our tablets and all these things we definitely want to limit our exposure to those because they have a negative effect on our cellular metabolism that's something that we have to be aware of okay number three follow mother nature's prescription what does that mean that means getting outside in natural sunlight, doing grounding. So taking your shoes off and getting on that earth, pulling those electrons from the earth into your body helps with that full body detox. Okay, now I wanna go on to number four, but I can't yet until I get some likes and shares for this video. Please hit that like button, hit that share, give me some hearts, do everything that you can. And I thank you for sharing user 175 and a big long number. Priya, thank you for sharing today's live as well. It's so great to have you all here. And we're having a lot of fun. We've got, we're gonna be going to the kitchen. I'm gonna be sharing some great information about lion's mane, which you probably, maybe you've never seen it or eaten lion's mane before. It's amazing, amazing. Okay, can we go to number four? Did I get enough shares and likes and everything? Yes, we can go there. Hello, hello, please. Yes, what the flop, hit that like button. Thank you so much. Okay, are we ready? Let's go on to number four. For. for detox, that full body detox, you've got to sweat. You've got to poop and you've got to pee on time, on schedule. When your body says you got to go, you got to go. Do not hold it in. And sweating is important. That is a great way to release our fat soluble toxins that are stored in our fat cells. It's one of the only ways to get some of these environmental toxins out of our body is to sweat. Now, when you sweat, I want you to wipe it off. Okay, make sure you're wiping away your sweat or else you just reabsorb your sweat back into your body. Not a good thing. And when we talk about poop, yes, we have to have regular and healthy bowel movements. What does that look like? Well, the classic, oh, my poops are all stuck together here. Maybe that's not a healthy thing. Here we go. The classic healthy poop is an S-shaped dark sinker, okay? This is also equally as healthy. The, the log type of thing. Now, if you're having sort of these pencil-like poops and things, not so healthy, that could be an indication of that internal toxicity. Certainly if you've got what I call the meatball poop, that can be related to that constipation. Those toxins are sitting in your body for too long. Not a good thing. As well as 
Ah, got it. <laughs> the rabbit pellet poop, not a healthy poop. So this is something that we definitely want to make sure with that full body detox that we are getting things going. Please like and share right now. Thank you guys for hitting that like button and the share. It's so great to have you all here today. And make sure that you're following. Make sure that you're subscribed because it's so important that you are on top of all this great natural health information. Okay, let's go to number five proper hydration. So as much as it's good to get rid of these things, pooping and sweating and peeing, we also have to make sure that we properly hydrate. And that's one of the things that I talked about in a previous episode was making the soleil water. So everybody knows about that and you swirl it so that you have that structured water, something else that can get that little vortex going. You structure the water, you add this to your water that helps with proper hydration. That's really important for your full body detox. Okay. And number six, is herbal medicine. So this is something that I do every season. I take specific herbal medicines in combination together. It's really gentle on my system, but it helps to get those toxins out. And I know a lot of you love to do detoxing as well, which is fantastic. Hello, hello, thank you for sharing. Oh my goodness, and thank you for following in. And thanks for all those likes and all those beautiful gifts that come in throughout the show. I can't always call you out. I do my best because so many of you are here, but this is awesome. Thank you, there's so many of you that have already shared. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And okay, so let's go to our viewer spotlight. So every week we like to share somebody who has really had a positive impact on, of course, myself and our entire team here at the Dr. Janine Show and just sharing some positive feedback, which is amazing. So let's say hello to Noble Light. And this is such a nice testimonial. Thank you, Dr. Janine, for your program. I've been learning a lot from you, especially to look out for magnesium stearate and microcrystalline cellulose in vitamins and supplements. That's something that we cover a lot. Thank you so much, Noble Light. That's so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. And I'm glad that you've learned because, yeah, a lot of people just are taking not so healthy supplements and those ingredients that are hidden in there. And you really want to do your best to avoid some of those toxic ingredients, especially when you're doing that full body detox, really important as well. Okay, let's talk about seven tips now for healthy cell phone use. So what does that mean? Well, we know that cell phones, they have EMFs, not great for our cellular metabolism that can make you, your blood glucose levels actually rise. This has been proven in the science. And whenever you've got that cell phone, the closer proximity, and this is what the studies show, despite the fact that nobody's hearing about this, the closer proximity that cell phone is to your body, the worse of an impact it's gonna have on your cellular health. So this is something that's important and there's more and more research that is showing just that. Okay, so it has been studied, it is in the research. Now, for instance, in one study it was found that mobile phone use for just five minutes can cause significant memory impure impairment in humans. So that's important to note. There's other emerging research that's coming out. Maybe something that I'm, and I've learned, you know, and I'm always learning because I do a ton of research and writing my next book right now. That's something that we are going to share a little bit maybe next week as well. I'm going to share you some other research that's come out in terms of how long daily use of your cell phone and what that means in terms of cumulative effects over time and talking about brain tumors. So we'll, we'll touch on that next week. We have to add that into our notes. Okay, so I'm also going to be sharing a surprising weight loss tip that you will want to definitely get in on the action on that one. Okay, so something that I haven't talked about. Okay, so let's talk about number one when we're talking about mobile phone use and using something like this. So this is actually something that I, when I purchased this, I just got it online. It's an EMF reader. And so I, well, I turned it on and I'm going to turn it on right now and I'm going to show you. So when it's around EMFs, it's going to beep and show these numbers and it gets very red and I would be testing things all around my house. And I would actually discover that I had some EMF exposure that I wasn't even aware of in my office as well. I had this like little transformer thing beside my desk and no wonder I was getting headaches all the time. It's because of the EMF. So this is a great little tool device. Now, one of the things that I've tested is using air headphones. So this is something that you can look for, purchase these online. This will significantly, if you need to be talking on your phone, this will significantly, so number one, is to use the air headphones, reduce your EMF exposure because there's little air tubes. So this is not a wire. So from here to, from here, to here is wire. Everybody see that? From here to here is air. 
So the sound still goes into your ears. You can still hear your conversation or your podcast or whatever you're listening to, but you don't have direct connection to the EMFs. Now, if your phone is the further away from you, remember, the better in terms of making sure that you're lowering your EMF exposure. Hello, hello. Thanks to everybody who's here for the first time. Please put a one in the comments. Thank you for sharing and liking and hitting that like button. And please make sure that you're subscribed and that you are loving this information. I know you are. Okay, so this is one tip number one. Okay, tip number two for healthier cell phone use. Don't use your Bluetooth in the car. So I was asked about this the other day. Okay, so how do you take a call in the car without the Bluetooth? Well, you can't. So that's my whole point. I mean, the, the less you can talk in the, this car, especially if you've got kids in the car, because what happens is that your entire car, because it is metal and it's encased, it's like microwaving your children. So just think about that next time you're taking a, a phone call in the car, talking to the kids, you're frying your kids and your own brain, but I, I've got five kids, so I'm very weary of this, okay? So you definitely want to try to limit your cell phone use in the car. Okay, number three is you want to keep your talk time to a minimum. That just goes without saying. If you can do more by texting, actually going and visiting someone, that's fantastic. If you, and some people just have long conversations that n not a lot is being said. So just... Make sure that you just know the risks. And if you do need to have a longer conversation, always use the air headphones, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about being subscribed. So I hope everybody is subscribed and everybody's following today. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm having so much fun. We will be going to the kitchen. We're going to be talking about lion's mane. I know a lot of you have heard about that. I've got some great research on the lion's mane and how that's so helpful as well, which is amazing. Okay, can we go on to number four? Am I allowed to go on to number four? Yes, we can. Thank you for subscribing, everyone. Thank you for following and thank you for sharing as well. Okay, let's use night mode. So make sure that your cell phone is on nightmare mode, meaning that you want your screen to be less blue, you want it to be more yellow. That's really important because the more yellow it is, the less harsh it is for your eyes, okay? Number five is keep away from your body when you're talking or typing. Can I have your cell phone for a second? Yeah, thank you. So I wanna demonstrate this because not everybody does this in terms of being able to it's just a little trick that I do. So for instance, if I'm doing a text or I'm loading TikTok, so if you've seen me on TikTok, if you've seen me on the other platforms, okay, so what I do is I try to keep it not attached to me. So I'm not typing like this with it EMFs attached to my body. Remember, we are electromagnetic, so that attachment to my body is worse than doing this. And I know it seems weird at first, but then I do this, type, Click, click, do that and uh, as such. Okay, so it's just a little tip. I know it is going to really help, especially if you're prone to headaches and signs of toxicity and some of the things that we talked about, if you have sensitivity to those EMFs, which we all do, and how much it's affecting you depends on your overall health. So this is really important stuff. Okay, let's talk about number six. You want to put it on airplane mode whenever you can. So yes, you can't receive a cell phone call on airplane mode, but there are other calling mechanisms that you can, you know, just figure it out with Wi-Fi. You're going to have less exposure if it is on airplane mode. And tip number seven, and this is such an important healthy cell phone use tip is to charge it in another room. So do not charge your cell phone beside your bed when you're sleeping. So please screenshot this so that you've got that list. Just those little tips are going to make a big difference in the long run for your EMF exposure and really help your overall health. I hope everybody's got that now. And we're going to move on to why drinking water in the morning on an empty stomach is so important for your overall health. So I wonder how many people put a two in the comments. Everybody put a two in the comments if you wake up to a big glass of water. Now I know all of my followers and please share this live, share with like five, 10, 15, 20 people on your list right now. Please share this. This is really important information. So put a two in the comments. I know a lot of you, Jerry, of course you have your big glass of water first thing in the morning. You've been following for over two years now, I believe. It's nice to see that you're here again today. Day. Hello, hello, and Clara, yes, Lewis, and Lois, sorry, Kathy, you have Nahid, yes, everybody's drinking their big glass of water first thing in the morning. Samurai Lee, oh, Samurai, Samurai, 
I hope that this is something that you start doing. Drinking that big glass of water is so, so important. Now, we will be discussing why and some signs that you've got some liver toxicity. So I forgot to even mention that at the top of the show. We're going to come back to having a toxic liver and how you would know that just in terms of your symptomatology, even if you've not had your liver scan done or some blood work done for your liver. Okay, now, why is it so important to have that early morning water, especially with the salt. So remember the Soleil water, this is something that we shared in a previous episode, really important. Why do we want to do that? Well, I started doing this and I started to feel so much better because getting that proper hydration and what I do is I keep it right beside my bed and I know a lot of you do this as well because I've had some great conversations with, you know, some of our followers and you love to do this. You just keep your big glass of water beside your bed. First thing in the morning, you are drinking that water down and then you can start your day. But that is so important especially with the salt because the salt is actually going to help with that proper hydration of your cells and you're now you're going to have better mitochondrial function it also helps to rehydrate your brain cells so here we can see the mitochondria is happy and healthy then this is our energy producing organelle in our body and our brain cells are also needing that proper hydration because your brain squeezes out toxins when you're sleeping it needs hydration first thing in the morning so that's really important to make sure that your brain is optimized and to start your day in that that way so you're gonna have more energy when you have that big glass of water in the morning you're gonna have better mobility so for your joints and for aches and pains you want to have that proper hydration which is so important you're gonna have a better mood and this is so important why you need to drink that water first thing in the morning so another tip that you could do if you haven't made your Soleil water is you can actually just put a pinch of salt under your tongue and then take your big gulps of water first thing in the morning to get that hydration going and use that Soleil water. It's much easier just to have that on the ready to be able to do that. Okay, so we are going over here. Hello, hello. Are we at quiz question yet? Are we here? Yes. Okay, we're at quiz question number one. Okay, so is everybody ready? So every week we play for a different prize. This week we're playing for the Vita Detox from our great sponsors at VitaTree. We thank them for making the entire show possible. Let's give VitaTree a hand. Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is what we're playing for. So please make sure that you're doing your best just to answer the questions and you have the ability to win a prize even if you don't answer correctly as long as you're participating you will may be randomly selected to be our winner for this week. I'm gonna mention last week's winner in just a minute. Are we ready? Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. True or false? Let's go over here. Yes, okay, so we, this, these, just as a quick recap, these were all the benefits of drinking that water every morning. All right, true or false? Your screens should be and look more blue for better eye health. Okay, you've got 30 seconds on the clock. Get your answers in right now. Let's go. Your screen should look more blue. All right. Everybody good? Yeah. All right, we've got 12 more, 10 more seconds. And we've got two and one. Okay, did everybody get their answers in? Let's see. And of course the answer is false. The answer is false. So I saw a lot of wrong answers. So congratulations to everybody who said false. Yes, you want your screens to be more on the yellow side, not the blue side to help with your eye health. Okay, so let's mention last week's winner. Our winner was it was Ken Pool Toka, 1962. Congratulations, you're the winner of our vitamin D3 from last week. Please make sure that everybody is following Team Dr. J9, and it is fantastic to have you all here today. Okay, now let's talk about liver toxicity. So this is something that you don't necessarily know, maybe you've not been diagnosed, that your liver is toxic. We will be going back to the kitchen, and I will be talking about that lion's mane in just a minute, but how do you know that you have liver toxicity? It could be a diagnosis of fatty liver that you haven't yet you know, gotten from your doctors. This is important. So you could be tired a lot, you could have bouts of nausea, you could have a lack of hun hunger, and not necessarily, you could also be craving all the wrong foods, 
And you could have those stools that are lighter in color. So if your poops are floating and they're lighter in color, that's not a healthy poop. That could be an indication that you've got some liver gallbladder issues. Remember, we always want that dark sinker that is a healthy poop. That means that you're actually secreting your bile salts properly, emulsifying those fats from your diet, and that you've got that proper poop happening, and that's your proper liver gallbladder function. Okay, so what do we do with a toxic liver? Well, I've got some tips for you, so let's go through them really quickly. So, number one, we wanna make sure that we've got that turmeric and Curcumin, this is one of the only things that actually has been studied in the research to help with a fatty liver. So that is really important. I prefer to take a concentrated supplement of this, and I know a lot of you do as well. The root itself, so here's the caution with taking a turmeric, is that the root itself can have toxicity issues. It can have and be high in lead. And this is a big concern. So you definitely want to make sure if you're not growing it yourself that you're taking a concentrated supplement that's actually been tested for lead toxicity and heavy metal toxicity to make sure that it is safe. Okay, number two, another tip to detox your liver is to do that full body detox. This is something that I talk a lot about. If you're just tuning in now, we talked about some of the signs and symptoms of overall body toxicity and why we need to do that full body detox. I can call it up again, our list, just a little bit later when we get to the Q&A section when you have the opportunity to ask me some questions and please keep your questions going through as well that this is something that's so important because when we're talking about that liver we want to make sure that we're maintaining healthy liver function and doing full body detox is part of that way to help with detoxing your liver. You want to detox all the organs at once. Okay number three is a castor oil pack. So let's go to that. Can I just show you this really quickly? In case you've missed my other videos, when I talk about using a castor oil pack, this is something that's so simple to do. So for castor oil packs, you just need a little bit of flannel. It could be an old t-shirt, just make sure it doesn't have any toxic laundry ingredients in here. And that's why I have my own laundry soap recipe as well that you can look up. Okay, so you're gonna saturate this with some castor oil. And for the liver especially, what you can do, hello Lucy, we're back. You're gonna slap that on the liver area. And I like to cover the entire abdomen. This helps with the belly fat as well. If you've missed that video, that was super popular. Maybe we'll come back to that next week as well, helping with that belly fat. Okay, so you're gonna put that over our top and then you are going to put a hot water bottle on top. You want that heat to activate this area that helps to detoxify. That's really important for that liver, but helps with belly fat as well. So there you go. And that is amazing. Okay, we're gonna be talking about lymphatic drainage in just a second. I'm gonna show you a full body lymphatic drainage technique that I've never shared before. So that is coming up. So that's how we do the castor oil pack. Everybody got it? Okay, thank you, Lucy. We will be back. And let's go over here. I'm gonna run over here really quickly. And thank you for tuning in today. And please hit that share button. Please hit those likes as well. It's great to have you all here. Dawn, thank you for tuning in. Nice to see you. And WWF, yes, dark sinkers are the best type of poop to have. We always come back to that conversation on poops. Okay, so let's talk about full body lymphatic drainage. Now this is something that you should be doing every single day. This is important for your beauty routine. It's important to move that lymph because if you don't move your lymph, it doesn't move. It's not like our arteries that help with our blood movement through the body and they do it all on their own because there's musculature there. This is very different with our lymph. If we don't move, our lymph doesn't move. Okay, so I'm going to show you my technique. I'm going to draw in the numbers so that you can remember this and screenshot this body person. Hello, we haven't named him yet. Somebody give him a name. Um, this is great. <laughs> Ali, you love this channel? Awesome, I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, so are we ready? Okay, so number one is you're going to jump up and down to move your lymph. Now remember, this is for weight loss as well, ladies and gentlemen, this is important. So let's all do it together. I hope everybody's in a safe place that they can jump. Hey, this is interactive. It's not just me doing this. I want everybody who can right now in a safe place do little jumps up and down. I've got my, my high heels on, but I'll pretend. Okay, little jumps. I can do little jumps in heels, can I? Okay, let's not get any sprained ankles. All right, little jumps. You gotta move that limp. Okay, number two, you are going to do little motions over your clavicles. These are your collarbones, okay? So that, that thing that juts out here, and you've seen me do this in other videos. I'm trying not to hit my mic, but you're going over your clavicles, over this region, massage, 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 okay? 
That's number two. Number three, you are going behind your ears and down your neck. Okay, so this is number three. It's just like this. Down like this. Down like this on both sides. Down like this. Okay, so it's just, and you do three to four passes, maybe five. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that was number three. Number four, you're going to your armpits. So number four, and I'm going to demonstrate this one. To move that lymph, you're just going in with your hand, opposite hand, you're going into the armpit in just a gentle motion like this. And I usually do three to four. You can do this in, a, in the shower for your early morning shower. This is great to just get all of that lymph moving. Okay, there we go. Number five, we are now going to the abdomen. So number five, you're just doing a little up and down motion on your abdomen. You could use one hand, both hands, up and down, up and down. A little massage in the belly, okay? And I want everybody to subscribe. If this is new to you, if this is the first time you've seen a full body detox, as well as full body lymphatic drainage, especially for weight loss, this is fantastic. Helps to get your energy going first thing in the morning as well. Gets that blood flowing. Please hit that subscribe button and thanks for following as well. There's so many follows and shares happening and all that love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see all those follows. It's so great to have so many new people here today. Okay, now let's talk about number six. So number six area for your lymphatic drainage is in the groin area. Am I demonstrating this? I guess I am. I'm live. Okay, here we go. So we're going into where your leg meets your torso. You're just going to massage down like this, okay? And you can go as deep as you want. Let me just leave it at, this, at that. Okay, now we're also talking about lymphatic drainage. In the number eight, is in the ankle area. Oh, I missed number seven. Number seven, sorry. Number seven is behind our knees. Here we go. So you're just going behind the knees like this, just a little massage behind the knees because of course we have that lymphatic chain behind the knees. So you're gonna do both sides of course. And again, just five passes or so, great. Okay, number eight is your ankles. And again, it is just, sorry, oh my goodness. Penmanship, here we go. The ankles, how am I gonna do this with my heels? I didn't think of this at the, ahead of time. Okay, here we go. So we're just doing gentle massage around the ankles like this. Gentle massage around the ankles. Okay, to get that lymph going. And then number nine is deep breathing. So here, just think of this, cause you're gonna screenshot this so you'll remember, is the breath because your diaphragm is going to, which is here, with the deep breathing helps to move all that lymphatic in your midsection. Is everybody doing this, deep breathing? Take a few deep breaths. And number 10 is, we're back to jumping. Again, everybody jump, 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 jump. Jump around. Everybody knows that song? Okay, awesome. So there we, okay, we got my whole crew is jumping. Awesome, awesome. So that is your full body lymphatic drainage, which you will love. Helps with weight loss, helps to move that lymph, it helps with energy levels, helps if you're suffering with some kind of condition and you know this is really helpful to move that lymph if you even if you've got a cold flu you've got congestion you've got puffy eyes this is going to help to move that full body lymph something that i've never shared before so please take a quick screenshot of that and then we're going to be going to quiz question number two in just a second so everybody's got that there you go all righty okay let's go Quiz question number two, is everybody ready? Okay, remember we're playing for a prize, where is it? We're playing for the Vita Detox from our great sponsors at VitaTree, we thank them for making this show possible. Is everybody ready? We didn't do so well on the last question, did we? Okay, I want everybody to do better on this one. Here we go, what does a light colored floating poop represent? Okay, please put your answers in, you got 30 seconds, put it in the comments right now. I like those answers. So far, so good, everyone. All right, get those answers in. We've got 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Bougie Steffi. I know it's a typo, but I love that answer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so good. And number one. Okay, I just have to say Bougie Steffi. She put in lover lover issues it was a typo but that's a good one in terms of light color floating poops of course it has to do with liver and gallbladder 
health. So that's something that you definitely want to make sure that you're aware of that we're fixing that liver gallbladder health. Okay, are we ready? Now, let's talk to and say thank you to our super fans. So our super fans, I wanna congratulate all of you. Thank you so much, you're super generous and I love the fact that you are you know, so generous between shows, during the shows and thank you, thank you, thank you. A big shout out to all of you. You know who you are and thank you. You know, your generosity is it means so much to myself and of course all of the crew here at the Dr. Janine show. So thank you to everyone who is supporting my channel. Thank you so much. I, we love you all. We love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Now let's talk about lion's mane. Does everybody know what lion's mane is? Uh, when I brought the lion's mane into the studio today, some of my crew was like, what is that? What is lion's mane? Well, this is something that has a bunch of nutritional benefits and it is a mushroom. So you may have heard about it as a supplement, but you can actually purchase it or grow it yourself. You can purchase the lion's mane, which is amazing and has so many benefits. And let's talk about some of those nutritional benefits in, and I'll give you sort of the nutritional background of what's going on with the lion's mane, which is amazing, but it has been proven in the research with lion's mane, number one, to help to prevent memory loss which is phenomenal. So helps with that brain function. Okay, Lucy's brain, and where's Lucy's brain? I think I've lost my brain, here we go. So helping with our brain function, which is so important. Okay, number two, it also helps to protect against Alzheimer's disease. And that is really important because it actually builds more. And number three, promotes more nerve growth. So this is important. So whether it is, you know, for Alzheimer's, it actually causes more connections to be happening in the brain in terms of those nerves and grows new nerves just by consuming lion's mane. Now that is really, really important. Now, especially if you've had a stroke or this is post-trauma, you've had a head injury, a concussion, something that, you know, we see that unfortunately happens more often than not in children's sports. I watch, you know, professional soccer players and how there are any soccer players out there that are always heading that ball. Yeah, this is a big problem. So lion's mane is really, really important. It could be an important adjunct that you're adding to your diet in a healthy way to help with your nerves. Okay, so please share everyone. Thank you for being here today. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm so glad to have you all here. I'm Dr. Janine. We're talking all the benefits of lion's mane, which is amazing. And before I get to number four, how many people hit that share button? I, I want to see. Do I see a number here? I think I do. Thank you so much for all the new followers as well. Please hit that share and like and subscribe and all those fun things that you can do that I can't do when I'm up here, but you guys get to hit that screen, which is amazing. Okay. Okay, let's go to number four. Lion's mane also helps to reduce overall inflammation in the body. So that is really important. It also is known to kill something called H. pylori. Does everybody know what that is? So in this study, it was actually found that lion's mane helped with that H. pylori mediated immune response, the IL-8 production, and it was significantly decreased by taking the lion's mane. Okay, so that is really important as well as, let's go to number five, it protects our heart and arteries. So this is another thing that's so important when we talk about our artery health and our heart is that we definitely want to optimize our cardiovascular function and lion's mane has been known to do that. It helps to reduce the oxidation of cholesterol. So oxidized cholesterol is what makes those plaques in our arteries. If you've ever, you know, been aware of what happens in the arteries, well, some not so great stuff can happen. We want to make sure that we are limiting and not having that plaque formation happening. So when cholesterol gets oxidized, cholesterol is not the bad guy, but when it does get oxidized, that's when the plaques can happen, and that is a problem. Okay, let's go back over here. Number six is helps with anxiety and depression. So this is where a lot of people in the last three years with craziness happening in the world, a lot of people you know, became very aware of lion's mane. It became very, very popular as a supplement because of the effects on, of course, the brain function and that, and it, it does that actually affect the hippocampus. Thank you everybody who's here. Please hit that like button. Please make sure you're following me and share as well. So one of the things about lion's mane with anxiety and depression in this study, it was actually found, so you can actually look this up yourself, that with anxiety 
and depression helps the functioning of the hippocampus. And they found that it has an anxiolytic and antidepressant-like effects. And this is something because of the hippocampus is actually regenerating. So regenerating new brain cells in a healthy and happy way, uh -huh, lion's mane can do that and something you can be eating in your diet, oh yeah. Okay, so let's go over here because I wanna show you how I prepare this. And it was actually the first, you know, uh, introduction that I had to actual lion's mane. I had done all the research, but I, I had never taken that as a, as a supplement personally. And a farmer actually gave me some lion's mane. I'm like, wow, I'm so fascinated. This is so good. I wonder what it tastes like. So just to, you know, rewind a few years, well, more than a few years, when I was just an emerging naturopathic doctor, first starting my clinical practice and started to, you know, meet people that were into and very well versed in, you know, natural medicine and a lot of vegetarians and things. And, and one vegetarian came up to me and said, you know what? Some mushrooms, they taste just like steak. I'm like, okay, I've never had that experience, but if they do, they do. Well, not until I tried the lion's mane. And I'm telling you, if you're not a vegetarian person, if you're not a fungus, if you're not a you know a mushroom loving person, this might just change your mind. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare it. I'm not gonna go through all the steps, but the first step is just the way that you cut it because you want it to be in substantial enough pieces. So of course you wash your lion's mane. You can see why is it called lion's mane? Well, it looks like, I don't know if everybody can see that on your screens it looks a little bit furry see how it's furry um, it kind of looks like a lion's mane it's also great for hair growth by the way which is amazing because of all the added benefits in there we're going to talk about that in just a second so all you're going to do is you're going to cut it in substantial enough pieces so think Think in the back of your mind, think steak, okay? When you're cutting lion's mane, you want it to be chunky enough because when you cook this then, you see the width of that and I wanna show you the inside. So you can see how it's a little bit more dense on the inside and then you've got that hairy stuff. Now the hairy stuff kind of goes away when you cook it so you don't have to think, okay, I don't know what the texture of that's gonna be like. So you're just gonna cut it in those substantial sort of thick pieces like so and then what i do and i'm not going to show you that but on the stove i just warm up and it depends if you're vegetarian or not if you have butter or not but I, the way that i do it grass-fed butter enough of it i like my butter and i warm heat that up not too hot and then i put in the lion's mane and then i i cook it just like i would a steak um, on one side a few moments and then when it looks about done it looks nice and brown on flip it over to the other side and then take it off and then you can drizzle it with a little bit of balsamic balsamic glaze oh my goodness I'm telling you you you'll never you would never think if you and I serve this to my kids I served it to my husband they're like oh what is this I didn't tell them what it was what is this it's so good yeah it's lion's mane it's mushroom it's amazing amazing so I hope you love that we're gonna take a look at the recipe really quickly just I want you to have it so that you can screenshot it. I know so many of you wait for the recipes that you can screenshot it that you've got it here you go the lion's mane mushrooms recipe super easy and of course, if you want to use oil, you couldn't stir the grass-fed butter. It's totally up to you. I like the buttery taste with my mushrooms, which is fantastic. And we're also going to go to a little bit of the nutritional information of lion's mane, which is amazing because it has some surprising benefits. And of course, our final quiz question is coming up as well. Okay, so here we go. The nutritional benefits of lion's mane. Of course, we've got, and this is for two-third cup serving per person look at that low in calories has a little bit of carbohydrates a lot of fiber it even has protein so did you know that lion's mane actually has protein you wouldn't think of it a vegetable having protein but it does have protein fat magnesium and i talk a lot about magnesium in other videos but it's got the b vitamins so vitamin b1 b2 b3 b6 biotin and folate which is great for hair growth so an added benefit of the lion's mane. Of course, it also has vitamin D. Now here's the thing about mushrooms. If the mushrooms have been out in the sunlight, it increases their vitamin D that you can be ingesting. So what you could do is actually put that lion's mane, and that's what I would recommend when you purchase it, in the, because you don't know if it's been grown in the greenhouse or you don't know where it's been grown, put it out in the sun 
before you prepare it to eat it, and that's going to increase its vitamin D, okay? Even though it's not in the ground anymore, it increases its vitamin D. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so everybody's loving the show. Thank you so much for all the love here. Thank you for hitting that share button and the likes and all those things that you can do behind the scenes, and thank you for supporting the channel. Okay, now we're going to talk about how we can lose more weight and what we can do because talking about balancing our hormones is so important especially that leptin resistance and for weight loss this is one of the most important things that you need to do is to make sure that you are balancing those hormones and fixing that leptin resistance i will be answering some questions in just a moment so don't go anywhere but here we go when we're talking about late night eating after the sun has set, this is one of the worst things that you can do in terms of messing up your leptin. This has an effect on your thyroid gland as well, also alters your proper melatonin secretion, which is so important. So this is something that you definitely want to make sure that in terms of having proper metabolism that you're actually optimizing your leptin and fixing your leptin resistance. So this is something that you definitely want to make sure that you are aware of. Okay, so let's talk about now some of the things that we can do and the three best foods to eat in the evening for that leptin resistance. Number one, nuts. So one of the things that's key at nighttime and to make sure that we're maintaining our insulin levels is that we don't want to spike our insulin and our blood glucose levels before bed. That will screw up our thyroid function, sorry to be so frank, and then you don't have your proper metabolism. So one of the things that you can eat that's not gonna really raise your blood glucose too much if you're really hungry before bed is to have maybe a few almonds, maybe some macadamia nuts, maybe a few hazelnuts. I'm not talking a lot, just enough to satisfy that craving. If you're t starving, 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 you definitely wanna do that at bedtime. Okay, number two, you wanna have maybe some seeds. So things like tahini, sunflower seeds. And of course, tahini is made from sesame seeds, really high in calcium. Calcium, of course, helps with sleep as well, which is amazing. So that is going to optimize that in terms of keeping that weight off, especially when you're trying to lose that weight and you've got that leptin resistance. I always talk about keeping your blood glucose level stable. Okay, and number three, we want to maybe make some golden milk. So if you missed the episode, was it... Two weeks ago, I don't, I think two weeks ago, we made the golden milk. Delicious, delicious. I believe we can call up that recipe if you've missed it, but this is something that's fantastic because it will help to stabilize your blood glucose levels. It helps with sleep. We know the benefits of turmeric. Remember, we talked about fatty liver today. The benefits for fatty liver to help with, and of course, with that turmeric, is to help to regenerate healthy liver cells, detoxifies that liver as well. So it's one of the best things you can do before bed, and it's not going to spike your blood glucose levels when you're doing that golden milk at bedtime. Okay, everyone, I want everyone to get and hit that share button right now let's get to 100 shares immediately can i have my uh my emfs please i'm kidding if you're just tuning in now we talked about how to minimize your emf exposure and limiting you know your proximity to having your oh yes okay those shares are coming through please we want to head to uh, let's get to 100 shares today please we're almost there we're at 89 okay how many people can hit that share button and thanks i see all those likes and 91 okay we're almost there let's get to those shares please 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 i know uh, like nine more people my favorite number by the way oh do i have my necklace on i can i show you can I show you? No, I'll show you next time. My nine. I have my nine necklace on. 99. Okay, one more. We are almost at 100 shares. Yeah, 103. Thank you, guys. Okay, if we can get to 150, I'd appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. Okay, we do have quiz question number three coming up. Now, I want you... Where am I going? I can come back over here. This was way too easy. What was I thinking when I did this quiz, quiz question? But I did stump you on the first one today, didn't I? Okay, we are at quiz question number three. Remember... This is the last opportunity for today to win the Vita Detox from our great sponsors at Vita Tree. So we thank them for making the show possible. Is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Quiz question number three. Name a mushroom that's good for anxiety, nerve growth, and healthy arteries. You've got 30 seconds on the clock. Get your answers in now. Okay, Melina wants the golden milk recipe. I think we can pull that up. I think we're working on it behind the scenes. Yes? All right. Aha, uh -huh. some people have, yeah, this one's easy. Everybody's, everybody's so smart on this show, my goodness. All right, everybody's getting their answers in. You've got five seconds, four, three, 
two, and one. Okay, everybody got their answers in. And of course, the mushroom is lion's mane, everything that we talked about today. So if you're just tuning in now, we talked about all the benefits. Actually regenerates healthy nerve cells. Great after a stroke, after head injury, trauma, great for anxiety and depression. This is what the research shows, amazing. And you can actually cook it and eat it, it tastes like steak. So if you missed that recipe, I can pull that up as well. And this is what it looks like. So if you've never seen lion's mane before, it looks a little bit furry. I don't know if you can see it on your cameras, um, but it is like a furry kind of texture. It is amazing. And if you're just tuning in right now, so that's something that we talked about. We talked about how that's so fantastic for that neurogenesis, so helping with our healthy nerve cells and anxiety, depression, as we talked about. Thank you for healthy arteries, so it decreases that oxidation of your cholesterol, so you don't have that plaque formation in the cholesterols. Love lion's mane. So we also talked about full body detox today. So as I was saying earlier, we can come back to sort of my tips really quickly if you want to pull that up. If you're just tuning in now for the full body detox tips, just put it in the comments. And my team behind the scenes is is gonna let me know where we're going next in terms of what you wanna see. Oh, I know, were we able to find the golden milk recipe? Yes, yes, we've got it. All right, okay, let's take a look at that. Here we go, golden milk. So you're gonna use, of course, that concentrated turmeric and curcumin, and you're gonna warm up some milk. I like to do it just in a pot on the stove, and I use almond milk, but you can do grass-fed milk, any type of milk that you like, macadamia milk is, very good for you as well, which is amazing. You can use a pinch of cinnamon. You're opening up the two capsules of that turmeric. You whisk that in and you can sweeten it to taste. If you want to use a bit of honey or what have you, you can definitely do that as well. Drink that at bedtime. Amazing anti-inflammatory, great antioxidants for your skin, helps with sleep. It's so, so amazing. So there you have it. I hope that helps. I hope you were able to screenshot that. Everybody's got it. Okay, perfect. And any other questions that came in throughout the show, please let me know. And you, yes, Anna Maria, yes, you can take it in a supplement, absolutely, in terms of, I'm not sure if you're referring to the turmeric or if you're referring to the lion's mane. Just, okay, with supplements, I'm just gonna do the golden rule here for supplements, is make sure that there's no magnesium stearate, which is not magnesium, magnesium stearate, it's a flow agent, no microcrystalline cellulose, that's important as well. So make sure that it doesn't have some of those fillers and flow agents, silicon dioxide. Maybe we'll revisit this next week as well in terms of some of the fillers and things that I post about. I can go into a little bit more detail in terms of what to be aware of in your toxic supplements that you may be taking. Yeah, you really have to do your due diligence and read your labels really well. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who is answering those questions. You guys did such a great job, and sorry if I didn't call out your name. I, as you can imagine, on all the platforms, there's like so much happening at once that I can't always mention everyone, but it is so great. And you got the golden milk as a balza, thank you. Thank you, I'm so glad that you are able to screenshot the golden milk recipe, that's fantastic. As well, we talked about the benefits of drinking a big glass of water first thing in the morning, really important to hydrate your brain. That's something else that we talked about today. And we did the whole body lymphatic drainage routine. Did everybody get that? I hope everybody got it because we can, I don't know if we can still pull that up. The one, two, 10 steps of lymphatic drainage for the entire body. I hope that you start practicing that immediately. Do it once a day, twice a day, especially if you are going through any type of disease and you want to, you know, make sure that you are healing more quickly, especially if you're trying to get that extra weight off. Maybe you've got to get those poops moving better. Maybe you've got liver congestion. You're trying to lose that weight. Doing that lymphatic drainage is really important. All righty. So thank you, everybody. Sorry, not being able to get that all. Guys, thank you for tuning in. All right, thank you, great to see you. And okay, the three best foods to eat in the evening. So especially if you're trying to lose that weight. So if you do have that subcutaneous fat, Maybe you've got that visceral fat around the organs as well. This is something that can accumulate as time goes on. As you know, maybe you've got the cellulite as well. You've got to keep your leptin levels balanced. It's something that we talked about today. And these are the best foods to eat in the evening if you absolutely have to eat. I usually recommend that you don't eat after 6 p.m. 
But if you absolutely have to eat, you're just starving, you have to put something in your mouth, then these would be some of the better foods to definitely consider before bed. And, and the more that you fix your leptin resistance, the more that you'll never even think about food again after 6 p.m. I'm telling you, it's a miracle. Then you'll know that your hormones are back in check and not to mention you'll notice that that extra fat that you've been holding on to is you're getting rid of it. Now this goes for the very skinny people as well who can't gain weight and maybe you've got thyroid conditions with hyperthyroidism, the same is true with the leptin resistance, okay? So finding that balance for the thyroid and your metabolism is what I'm talking about here. All right, so everybody's got that. I'm so glad for everyone who tuned in and Yes, thank you so much. And, and we continue to answer your questions behind the scenes, of course, which is fantastic. So next week, we are going to be talking about endometriosis. I'm also going to be making my famous pumpkin spice latte recipe. We can do it hot or cold. And you're going to love it because it's a healthy, healthy version. And it doesn't have all the fat and the calories that you may be purchasing if you go to that famous, you know, coffee place out there. We'll also talk about belly fat a little bit more. And you are going to love that show. So remember, every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we have the Dr. Jean Show. It was so great to have all of you here today. It was such a fantastic show. Lots of new information. Make sure you're studying in between because maybe a quiz question is going to come from today's topics as well, just a little FYI, okay? So great to have you all here. I always endeavor to teach you and educate you about the healing of your own body, mind, and spirit, and of course, doing it naturally. Be well, everyone, and we'll see you next week.